The surrender of Andrei Medvedev to the police in Norway, how he came with the help of Gulagunet uh, from Russia, how he arrived um, near the village of Nikel in Russia's Murmansk region, how he crossed the border with the help of Gulagu, uh, how once he got to the country, he uh, ran to the first house with a light that he could see, feared that he was being chased by the dogs which had pursued him across the border. Um, and once he had explained the situation to the first house he reached, the Norwegian authorities were called and he was sent to a migrant center in Oslo. And he left Russia on January the 12th uh, amid, quote, barking of watchdogs, gunfire at his back from the FSB border guards. The Norwegian news outlet uh, NRK reported immediately that a Russian citizen had illegally entered Norwegian territory. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, before being arrested at the border early on Friday morning, but they didn't then disclose his name. Now, uh, Medvedev uh, needs to be aware that there is a cautionary tale. And it's a cautionary tale uh, involving a certain amount of deceit, but why would we expect anything else from Prigozhin, Putin's chef? Um, now, Prigozhin uh, clearly has instructed anybody who defies him to be slaughtered in the most... Um, uh, brutal way and a former prisoner who fought for the Wagner Brigade and surrendered to Ukrainian forces uh, was captured in Kiev and then murdered as a traitor the murder was filmed and Prigozhin simply said excellent directoral work now at the time there was a lot of dispute about whether uh, this particular um, individual, a man named uh, Yevgeny Nuzhin, a 55-year-old man, uh, whose head was taped to, to a brick wall while he was beaten and filmed, as I say, on October the 11th. There is some question about whether the brutal murder, the execution, was done by uh, Ukrainian forces, which is what was claimed in Russia, in Russian propaganda, or whether in fact it was a, uh, an execution by the Wagner Brigade. Now we are pretty certain that it was an execution by the Wagner Brigade, I suspected at the time. And uh, um, it appeared on the Grey Zone Telegram channel, one of several Russian media outlets uh, that are linked to the Wagner Brigade and there was a caption on the film, The Hammer of Revenge. Now, this is what happens. And what, um, what Andrei Medvedev uh, can testify to is this is a routine form of execution for anybody who tries to defy the Wagner Brigade. Um, he talks about, uh, he, he, he talks with, a, with, 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 with an investigative journalist on The Insider, and says that he knows of 10 cases in which the Wagner Group killed its own fighters for refusing to take part in combat. Uh, they, the Wagner fighters, were wounded and went to a hospital near uh, Povomiansky, and from there they tried to escape. They were caught at the border at a checkpoint, um, and the group, the Wagner Group, then came up and shot them. Uh, this group, uh, there's a particular part of the Wagner Group called the MED, uh, which is a branch of the Wagner Group security responsible for neutralization. They take people away and they kill them either publicly or not publicly, like with Nuzhin. And uh, he claimed that several of these murders, including two cases in which men were killed, um, were not former prisoners. Uh, they were serving um, military. Uh, he says that he was being pursued not only by the FSB, but also by his former employers, the Wagner Private Military Company. 
and um, Prigozhin and his crew, the Russian FSB, uh, they were all after him. Uh, and they got the Russian criminal department involved. Uh, I was in danger, he says. The danger was that I would be caught and they would kill me, either by shooting me or worse, like they did with Nuzhin, execution by sledgehammer. Now, uh, he had signed up to four months, apparently, with the Wagner Brigade, having been recruited in prison. And after four months, they attempted to prolong the engagement, and he refused and then escaped. Um, and uh, he and an unnamed comrade reached out to Gulagu in December uh, to ask for help in getting away from the Wagner Group and, and, and escaping their signature execution method, uh, murder by sledgehammer. And he posted a video message from himself to Vladimir Putin and to heads of the Russian FSB and the prosecutor general in which he asked them to stop targeting him. Uh, in the end, he was helped to escape to the border and into Norway. Now, of course, as I say, it's a cautionary tale and he should be very careful, but he certainly has information which I think will be of great use. Uh, we will learn from uh, Medvedev how far the Wagner Group has, has uh, penetrated the Russian military, how powerful it is, how significant it is, uh, and... Um, and, and, and also what role it played in Syria and other places in Africa around the world. We, we, we will learn a great deal, I think, from this individual. Um, but it, it, it is a story that comes with a very cautionary tale and a very worrying tale, and he will need um, serious protection.